What's up everybody? So today we're going to be doing a video about my top rep solo setup. Uh, today we're here at sunset. I'm by myself today because I couldn't find a partner. But we're just working some easy stuff. Scream wall I've done before. I've led all of this before. But I just wanted a nice day out. So while I'm at it, I might as well show off my top rep solo setup. So I use a micro traction as my main device and a Kong duck as my secondary because the micro traction has sharp teeth and although this is a unicore rope and it's been proven that it's very difficult to de-sheath a rope even with a normal rope I still like to have a backup that works in some other way so the only difference between the Kong duck and or the Kong duck and the micro traction is that the Kong duck has these uh, different teeth in here as where micro traction has a bunch of little spiky ones all right so first what I like to do is I like to put on the Kong duck should we load it correctly here and this is going to go directly into my master point lock that down test it out make sure it's all good and then here we have a micro traction on a dog bone with two lockers on it and a anti cross loading carabiner to stop well it can still go this way but it can't go that way uh, to stop any problems with cross loading because this is going to be my main device so I want to make sure that's good so I'm going to take the dog bone with the anti cross loading I'm going to put it on top of the backup device I'm going to take the micro traction I'm going to load it onto the rope so if I pull down on it it engages next I have a chest harness that I've made myself and you can make these yourself. It's just a 120 centimeter sling with a couple knots in it. Uh, and you can adjust it to be perfect for your body. Or you can buy a pre-made one. But I like this one because it's less intrusive than pre-made ones. So then you're going to take your two ends that you have here. I clip through the first one. Through the micro traction. And then through the other loop. And now we're all set up. You can see we have both devices engaged just as a word of warning make sure before you start climbing obviously that both devices are functioning properly due to the fact that you know whenever you're setting this kind of stuff up it's very easy to forget to lock the micro traction I've, I've done it plenty of times where you know it's, it's if you don't test it there's no way to know that you know it's not engaged so make sure your micro traction is locked and it's engaged all right let's get on the wall Alright, so I'm nearing the bolt, just climbed up, and as you can see, micro trash is engaged, and here's the Kong duck. Uh, I like to put the chest harness into this bottom loop, and it, it usually just naturally clips itself in, but that's where it'll usually end up sitting. And it doesn't create enough distance, this is probably like two or three inches between um, the belay dog bone and my micro traction it doesn't make enough distance to where i have to worry about you know desheathing my rope or anything one other thing i forgot to cover was you should put a weight at the bottom of your rope so if you're using two micro tractions you probably won't have to worry about this because uh, the wheel in it makes the action very smooth but i use a kong duck as well which doesn't this part doesn't spin so you should put a weight at the bottom of your rope just like your the rest of your rack hang it off of like a clove pinch or something just like a foot off the ground just to help keep the rope in the down position and usually once you get up higher it's not a problem but when you're first starting off and there's no rope weight below you it's nice to have big wall style anchor here <laughs> so once I reach the anchor I like to take up on the uh, 
on the Kong duck here. And once I've done that, you know, I'm still hands-free with both devices. I can take my Gree Gree. Engage. Then pull up a couple feet and put a catastrophe knot in. Like that. Make sure it's dressed good. Like that. So now we have a hands free setup. Again, unlock the mic retraction. Take it out of the system. Like this. And we still have the hands free setup with the Gree Gree and the Catastrophe knot. Like so, take everything out of the system. Boom, just like that. We can continue on. All right. Ooh. 